Onyx Liquid Embolic System is FDA approved for the pre-surgical embolization of brain arteriovenous malformations or brain AVMs. The following animation is not intended as a substitute for the instructions for use provided with the product. For a complete detail of product description, principle of operation, indications for use, contraindications, and warnings, please refer to the official instructions for use. Onyx is a non-adhesive liquid embolic agent comprised of ethylene vinyl alcohol copolymer, EVOH, dissolved in dimethyl sulfoxide, DMSO, and suspended micronized tantalum powder to provide contrast for visualization under fluoroscopy. The Onyx liquid embolic system consists of a 1.5 milliliter vial of Onyx, a 1.5 milliliter vial of DMSO, one yellow 1 milliliter DMSO syringe, and two white 1 milliliter Onyx delivery syringes. A DMSO compatible delivery microcatheter indicated for use in the neurovasculature, for example, the Marathon, Rebar, or Ultraflow HPC catheters, must be used to access the embolization site. Onyx is available in two product formulations, Onyx 18, 6% EVOH, and Onyx 34, 8% EVOH. Onyx 18 will travel more distally and penetrate deeper into the nidus due to its lower viscosity compared to Onyx 34. Prior to injecting Onyx, Load the Onyx mixer with four vials of Onyx and shake for at least 20 minutes at a setting of eight. Continue mixing until you are ready to embolize. Ensure optimal microcatheter placement with the injection of contrast agent per institutional procedure. Based on clinical practice, it is helpful to establish a working projection that visualizes the distal few centimeters of the microcatheter. Because onyx will reflux during the procedure, it is important to have clear visualization of the catheter tip and any vasculature that must not be occluded by onyx. Establish a reference image revealing the distal catheter shaft, nidal angioarchitecture, and venous outflow. Flush the contrast from the microcatheter with 10 milliliters of saline to expel the contrast media. Leave the syringe connected to the catheter. Aspirate approximately 0.8 milliliters of the supplied DMSO into the yellow 1 milliliter DMSO syringe. Next, aspirate exactly 1 milliliter of the mixed onyx into the white 1 milliliter onyx syringe using an 18 or 20 gauge needle. Connect the yellow DMSO syringe to the delivery catheter and inject the DMSO in sufficient volume to fill the catheter dead space. The catheter dead space is called out on the catheter package, and in the case of the Marathon Flow Directed Catheter, the dead space is 0.23 milliliters. As soon as the DMSO has been injected into the catheter dead space, remove the DMSO syringe. Hold the catheter hub in a vertical position and overfill and wash the lure hub with the balance of the DMSO, creating a meniscus of DMSO in the catheter hub. Immediately, take the onyx syringe and point it vertically with the tip pointing up. Invert the hub of the catheter and connect it to the onyx syringe, making sure there is no air in the hub during the connection. Be sure the lure does not contact any saline, blood, or contrast. To avoid onyx dilution with DMSO, continue to point the syringe vertically. Begin injecting the onyx to displace the DMSO. It is recommended that onyx be injected at a slow, steady rate of approximately 0.16 milliliters per minute. Do not exceed 0.3 milliliters per minute. Be sure to avoid overpressurization. Once the onyx passes through the hub, hold the syringe in a more comfortable position and continue injecting onyx at the specified rate. Begin fluoroscopic imaging just prior to displacing the catheter dead space volume. If visualization is lost at any time during the procedure, halt Onyx delivery until adequate visualization is re-established. Onyx advances because it is pushed, often compared to how lava flows, 
Onyx begins to solidify from the outside while the inner core remains liquid for a given duration. Onyx follows the path of least resistance. At times, flow dynamics within the nidus can make that path retrograde, causing the onyx to reflux. During most onyx procedures, reflux is likely to occur. As mentioned earlier, the amount of acceptable reflux should be determined in advance. The moment reflux is detected, stop the injection for a duration of 30 seconds to 2 minutes, allowing the onyx to solidify at the site of reflux. Do not exceed 2 minutes. Resume the onyx injection until reflux is again observed. This should create a plug around the catheter tip. This is known as the plug and push technique. Once a plug is established, onyx will easily penetrate the nidus, filling the lesion. Stop the injection if onyx is not visualized exiting the catheter tip or if increased resistance is observed. Once a predetermined amount of the nidus has been embolized, aspirate the syringe by 0.1 milliliters. Slowly remove the slack from the microcatheter and maintain gentle traction. Onyx is cohesive, not adhesive, so the microcatheter should slowly slide out of the onyx cast. Once the catheter is free of the cast, it can be removed from the vasculature. In the event of difficulty removing the catheter, refer to the instructions for use. Onyx Liquid Embolic System, approved for the pre-surgical embolization of brain AVMs, provides the user with the advantage of time and the power of control.